after a series of libelous attacks on Brexiteers like Aaron Banks, the Queen of Ramona's Carol Cadwalder has been forced to apologise and pay a huge amount in damages. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we, I actually missed this story. It came out a couple of days ago. Well, yesterday it was confirmed. Uh, but it's important to talk about this in case you guys, uh, uh, if some of you haven't really seen certain websites and on social media, because it hasn't really been reported by Sky News or BBC. They, they, it's one of them, I think, mentioned it for like two seconds and moved on because they didn't really want to focus on too much on Brexiteers winning something. This is about the battle between Aaron Banks, uh, who was uh, one of the top Brexit campaigners in 2016 and a close ally to Nigel Farage and Carol, who still hasn't given up on the fight to rejoin the European Union and how Brexit and Brexiteers are the most evil people in the world. They decided to start a series of attacks on uh, Aaron Banks and many others. Um, you know, she had the TED talk and many other articles that she's written. And in partly part of it, she said that we know that the Russian government offered money to Aaron Banks. And, you know, they got close to Nigel Farage and the Brexiteers and this and that. Obviously, a lie. And it was already proven this was a lie. And uh, this was just a witch hunt trying to basically tie everything to Russia from Brexit and Trump. And, you know, obviously all the issues that were fake. Now, this was also libelous. So Aaron Banks decided to take action. This has been going on for a few years now, since 2017 onwards, and a number of court cases and appeals. And the final battle, Aaron Banks won. And uh, somehow, The Guardian, that's a platform for Carol Cadwalder, decided to spin the message. So a normal news update was that a Brexit backer Aaron Banks wins his appeal in the Carol uh, Cadwalder uh, libel case. So that was it. But then The Guardian somehow managed to spin it, <laughs> saying Aaron Banks loses two of the three challenges to failed libel action against Carol. So considering out of the three, the main one was the one that he won, and then obviously there are two other small issues uh, that didn't really matter whether he won or not. Uh, but overall, it was libelous, and he won his appeal against Carol. But somehow The Guardian are still going with their own narrative. It's absolutely fascinating. But the good news is that uh, she has now been forced to not just apologise, but also pay Aaron Banks £35,000 in damages. <laughs> this is a lesson to all the liberal leftist metropolitan elitist nonsensical Ramonas with their avocado coffees who don't really think before saying things. This is important when it comes to their, their debt, well, damage to people's reputations because people could get cancelled on a societal level even if they win their battles on a legal level. And this is a huge problem in this country and in the West overall. Even if you win something legally and you've been proven right, the mob will, will create a cancel culture wave on social media and everywhere else. You've already been cancelled even before you win the court case, for example. This has this is the new battle. Because one issue has been to fight cancellation and the cancel culture uh, when it comes to court cases and everything else on a legal level. So we're doing well with that. Good. The country is fighting back. But at the same time, what do we do about a situation where they cancel you before you even go through the battle? So that has to be sorted. It's all about countering the argument and the narrative to make sure that we are spreading the truth and the facts before it actually even escalates about anybody who's about to get cancelled. So that's the new battle that we're talking about. Aaron Banks went on Twitter and said, I received £35,000 of damages from Carol uh, today and uh, an apology and, uh, um, and an undertaking not to tell fibs again. <laughs> and the infamous TED Talk edited out. Cost decision to follow. Total, vi total vindication and a lesson to all journalists to only publish the facts. And, and he uh, tagged in uh, John Sopel, saying, John Sopel, as Trump said, you beaut. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the whole uh, saga of uh, fake news about Brexiteers is now over for now. They have more 
up their sleeves. They're not going to give up the fight until we rejoin the European Union. Keir Starmer is getting ready for a coalition with uh, Ed Davey. And of course, something that's on the card is to rebuild the relationship with the European Union. So good luck with that, government. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media. <laughs>